possible. But I would put it to you that from all the evidence we have, the fact that opposition don't have chemical weapons, the fact the regime do, the fact they've used it, the fact they were attacking the area at the time, and that intelligence I've reported, that is enough to conclude that the regime is responsible and should be held accountable. Is BBC Television from London. Normal programming has been suspended. Good evening. This is BBC Radio 2 News at 6 o'clock on the 25th of August. With me, Chris Hayden-Smith. Parliament was suspended today after reports of the wildfire virus had spread to central London. Prime Minister David Cameron has been sent to a safe location, but has advised all to stay safe. There has been an attack on the Houses of Parliament <coughs> by those who are sick with <coughs> with the wildfire virus. Today, the 25th of August, 2010, the virus has gone global. <coughs> There is that no no cure. Currently there is no known cure. However, radiotherapy is suggested to cure the virus. However, this is still under development. There is an emergency situation. Uh, to continue. The uh Prime Minister and his cabinet have been safely evacuated from the Houses of Parliament. To continue, you have been advised to stay at home. The medical officer is ill. I, I believe he's ill with the virus. I think we, we need to get him help. Number one. No, 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 not yet. What's not yet. Move, move. What's going on out there? We must leave. We must. We may have to leave him here. Why? He's ill. What can we do? We need to get help. This is all fucking bollocks. Move on. Move. 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 No, no, nothing here. No, sorry. Please help me! 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 Help me